Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to another Let's Build video. Now this week I will be building the Dreadblade Harrows from issue 14 of the Mortal Realms magazine. I'm slowly getting through all my back issues. Uh, this is one that I've just recently completed, recently reviewed and slowly but surely the, the cavalry version for the Night Hunt are slowly becoming one of my favourite units. Um, they're they're easy to put together, they're fragile but easy to put together and you can get away with painting these quick and still looking good. Um, but for this week it's just the Dreadblade Harrows which I built now. There's not many parts, I think there's 4 parts or 5 parts including the base for each one. Um, you clip them off, everything comes off pretty easily, you clean them up easily, just they're still fragile. I think nearly every Nighthawk model is fragile. Um, there's not a whole lot you have to do when you're building these. Um, here you have ha the half body where you have to put in this little clip for the head to connect the head in. And I kind of jumped ahead a little bit. I didn't really look at the instructions in this part here. I thought you put it into one half of the body and then put the other second part of the body in. Which you watch, that's usually what you have to do with a lot of these models. But not for these ones. For these ones you just glue the two halves of the body. Which you do that first. Which is so much better than doing... Uh, putting the body part in the middle and then putting them on because it makes it fit so much easier and you can put pressure on them in certain parts without worrying about bending the body parts as well so that's really good with these um, and then of course it's just two little bits for the body that you put on and they fit in very easy snap fit two big holes you can't really go wrong stick the other side on whichever one is the guy with the sword pointing point forward or pointing backwards or whatever um, no major problems putting them together there's no big gaps or anything not with these ones um, I think the Knight of the Shroud, there was a big gap, I remember doing that, but I got it sorted. Much easier than doing that, but the, the only, actually the only problem I had here, and it's not even a problem, it's just when you put them on the base, it's connected through one hoof, it's this front left one. Now this can be very, very easily broken here. Um, as you see, it took me a little bit to put on because I had to force it down with a knife at a certain angle, and I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to chip any parts off. But it went on. That's the only bad thing about this model, with these two. Um, they're all, their weight is going to be on one part of the base, one foot. So if you like press down on it ever so slightly, all the weight is coming on that one foot. Um, which is a little bit annoying. I kind of wish I had been two kind of feet, just to take away the pressure a little bit if you press down on them. But you do get a, an amazing pose of it. They look amazing. They go together easily and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on trying to get more of these for this army. I'm not sure if we're going to get many more of these with this Night Hunt army in this uh, collection. I hope we do. I'd love to see, I'd love to get another two of these to add to the collection, definitely. But anyway, I really enjoyed putting these together. These are issue 14 of the Mortal Realms magazine. Now make sure to check in the description below to get your hands on these models as well. Um, yeah, I enjoyed putting them together. No hassle, easy to do, which is exactly what you kind of want. When you're putting models together but anyway if you guys like this video make sure, make sure to let me know in the comment section below hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video